Hi, it's Katrina. From a fish with horns to an NFL player battling an enormous fish, here are 10 of the biggest and craziest sea monster catches. Number 10. Water Dragons A fisherman in the river Irtish in Kazakhstan got quite the surprise when he caught bizarre monsters that looked like mythical underwater dragons. In reality, they were pike, which are long, carnivorous fish with a mouthful of very sharp teeth. These fish are pretty scary anyway, but in this case, they had horns. One weighing 26 pounds had two horns, and the smaller one weighing 15 pounds had four horns sticking out of its head. What did he decide to do with the mutant water dragons? Eat them and save their heads as proof in his garage. The biggest pike ever caught was in Germany in 1986, when angler Lothar Lewis caught a pike that weighed 57 pounds, but they did not have horns. So what caused the pike to look the way they did? Perhaps it was a genetic mutation of some sort, or pollution from the nearby mine. Or maybe underwater dragons are real. Number 9. Record-breaking lionfish In October of this year, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission released a statement announcing a new record for the longest lionfish captured in the Gulf of Mexico. A fisherman named Donald C. Vaternaut was spearfishing for red snapper off the Destin coast and decided to also catch a few lionfish. When he went back into the water, he says, I saw a monster lionfish and immediately knew I wanted to measure it. Vaternaut told Fox 13, I got really excited because I knew the Gulf record was around 18 inches, but I didn't know exactly and we didn't have a cell signal to check it out there. He and his friends thought it was a pretty big deal, so once they reached the shore in Okaloosa County, they took the specimen in to be officially measured. Their suspicions proved correct, and Vaternaut was named the state's new record holder for the longest lionfish captured in the Gulf of Mexico. The fish, which measured 18.19 inches, defeats the previous record holder by a narrow margin of just 0.12 inches. In 2018, diver Timothy Blasco set the record for the heaviest lionfish ever caught in the Atlantic Ocean when he collected a 3.1-pound specimen off the Florida Keys. This may not seem large, but for a lionfish, it's more or less gigantic. Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific and should not be in the Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea, but they have become an invasive species, eating everything in sight. Because they threaten the region's endemic wildlife, conservation authorities encourage people to hunt them and hopefully even put them on the menu at restaurants. The rapidly reproducing species, which was first spotted in the Atlantic off Dania Beach, Florida in 1985, has no known predators in this particular habitat other than humans and feeds on native creatures. It's unknown how lionfish reach the Atlantic, but experts speculate that members of the invasive species were released into the ocean from people who just didn't want them in their aquariums anymore. And now for number eight, but first want to give a big shout out to Battleborn and big hello to your son and Syra Tan for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let me know if you've ever gone fishing and caught something fun in the comments below. Number 8. Crabzilla Weighing up to 42 pounds and with a leg span measuring as much as 12.1 feet from claw to claw, the Japanese spider crab is the world's largest arthropod. As its name implies, the species is found near Japan, primarily off the southern coast of Honshu. These deep dwellers typically live between 160 and 1,970 feet beneath the water's surface. It also gets its name because it looks like a giant spider. One gigantic Japanese spider crab, nicknamed Crabzilla, made headlines in 2010 in anticipation of its debut at the Sea Life Center in The Hague, Netherlands. Crabzilla, who weighs over 30 pounds and whose leg span measures over 12 feet, was caught in the Pacific Ocean in 2009. The following year, he became the largest member of his species ever exhibited in Europe, and one of the biggest ever captured, period. Legend holds that Japanese spider crabs feasted on the corpses of drowned sailors. This is possible, since they are scavengers, and one glimpse at Crabzilla is enough to understand how these opportunists can and will eat pretty much anything they come across. Crabzilla's front limbs are his feeding arms, each over five feet long and ending in sizable claws, explained Graham Burroughs, curator of the National Sea Life Center in Birmingham, England. But sometimes, these creatures turn from predator to prey, as Burroughs further pointed out, stating, they are a Japanese delicacy and are usually salted and steamed, but eating them in the spring is banned because that is when they lay their eggs. Fun fact, they like to cover themselves with other critters for camouflage. Number 7. 
NFL player versus grouper. It's not every day that a 320 pound NFL player struggles against a fish, but that's precisely what happened earlier this year when Jacksonville Jaguars offensive tackle Jawan Taylor reeled in a 400 pound grouper during a fishing trip off the Brevard County, Florida coast. The ordeal, which Taylor likened to pulling up a bus, was captured on video, which subsequently went viral. Taylor's catch was huge, and it wasn't even the largest grouper ever caught. That title goes to a 680-pound Goliath grouper captured on May 20, 1961, off Fernandina Beach, Florida, by a fisherman named Lynn Joyner, who reeled in the gargantuan creature using a Spanish mackerel as bait, in case you want to try it next time you go fishing. The area was once well known for its massive grouper population, but the Goliath grouper is considered endangered today. Its dwindling numbers prompted lawmakers to establish legislation in 1990 protecting the species in the US and the Caribbean. Number 6. Tenacious Tuna While out on his first fishing trip in his new boat earlier this year, 17-year-old Wyatt Morris of Auburn, Maine and two of his friends spent seven and a half hours reeling in a nine-foot-long, 750-pound bluefish in tuna. The fish took the bait roughly 30 miles offshore on the morning of July 1st and proceeded to haul the vessel another 10 miles throughout the day as the teens attempted to exhaust the creature into submission. Morse had just laid down for a nap when his buddies Martin Scanlan and Griffin Buckwalter alerted him to the tuna's presence. Throughout the hours-long ordeal, the young men made sure to capture video footage of their struggle against the massive fish. At one point, Morris even worried that the fish was undefeatable. It's rare to catch these big fish. Their power is crazy, he told the Bangor Daily News. We had the motor up and the fish was pulling a 24-foot vessel sideways at 2 miles per hour. That's a strong fish. The boys finally captured the tuna with the help of Scanlan's father, who reported to the scene with a boat large enough to haul it aboard. They took their catch to Portland, where they sold it for $2,000. While the teen's victory against the massive fish is impressive in its own right, the largest bluefin tuna ever captured was much larger, weighing 1,496 pounds. It was caught off the coast of Nova Scotia in 1979. Number 5. Marlins In July of this year, a lady angler named Ginger Myers reeled in an 851.9-pound Atlantic blue marlin, potentially setting a new record for the largest such specimen ever caught in Alabama, as well as for the biggest blue marlin ever captured by a female angler within the Gulf of Mexico. A fisherman named Paulo Roberto Amarim reeled in the largest member of the species ever captured, a 1,402-pound Atlantic blue marlin, on February 29, 1992, off Vitoria, Brazil. He secured the catch after a one hour and 20 minute struggle. The largest marlin ever caught by rod and reel was a black marlin captured by Alfred Glassell Jr. on August 4, 1953, off the coast of Cabo Blanco, Peru. The gargantuan fish measured 14 and a half feet long, had a 6.75 foot girth, and weighed 1,560 pounds. Glassell spent an hour and 45 minutes fighting for control of the creature before landing the fish. Number 4. Greenland Shark The obscure and rarely seen Greenland shark, which dwells in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans, has the longest known lifespan of any vertebrate, ranging from 300 to 500 years. It's also one of the world's largest shark species, reaching up to 21 feet long and weighing as much as 2,200 pounds. Some experts believe they can grow even bigger than this, perhaps up to 24 feet long and 3,100 pounds. They are so hard to spot to begin with since they live so deep that it is always a surprise when someone manages to catch a Greenland shark. On October 17, 1987, Norwegian fishing legend Turje Nordvet caught a 1,708-pound specimen using herring as a bait. It was the largest ever Greenland shark ever captured off Norway. You would think that humans would stay away from this shark because their meat contains high concentrations of a chemical called trimethylamine anoxide. While this substance helps Greenland sharks stabilize their enzymes in cold, high-pressure waters, it is toxic to humans and can cause severe inebriation. The reason we know this is because this shark meat is a national dish in Iceland. To avoid its poisonous effects, the shark's flesh is hung to dry for four to five months and fermented, which then makes it safe for human consumption. Number 3. Tiger Shark 
In June 1964, a South Carolina fisherman named Walter Maxwell captured a world record breaking tiger shark at the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier in North Myrtle Beach. It took two tries for him to capture the massive creature, and he spent five hours wrestling the fish before he finally reeled it in. Throughout the ordeal, Maxwell's friends reportedly poured water on his reel to prevent it from overheating, according to Grand Strand. With their help, he finally got the creature under control and hoisted it on a truck bed. A few days later, the 13.8-foot-long tiger shark officially weighed in at 1,780 pounds, defeating the previous International Game Fish Association record holder by around 300 pounds. Forty years later, in 2004, the record was narrowly defeated off the coast of Ulladulla, Australia, when an angler named Kevin J. Clapson captured a tiger shark weighing just over 11 ounces more than the previous number one specimen. Because the weights are so close to one another, the two record holders are considered tied. Number 2. Great White Shark The largest ever great white shark capture officially recognized by the International Game Fish Association happened off the Seduna, Australia coast on April 21, 1959, when Alf Dean, a famous shark hunter, caught a 2,664-pound specimen. Conservation laws in most places protect the great white shark from harvest today due to the species' vulnerable status, meaning that Alf Dean's IGFA-approved record is unlikely to change. Every now and then, a great white shark is still captured, but the organization has not acknowledged any potential record breakers. Some people argue that the shark Alf Dean captured in 1959 was not the largest great white ever caught. In 2015, the Discovery Channel allegedly confirmed a 70-year-old legend about six men harvesting a monstrous 21-foot-long, 7,000-pound great white shark in Cojimar, a Cuban fishing village east of Havana. But some experts dispute the accuracy of these claims, arguing that the animal in question, nicknamed El Monstruo or the Monster, was 16 feet long and no more than 4,200 pounds. In another unconfirmed potential record-breaking capture of a great white shark, a 5,085-pound, 21-foot-long was reportedly caught off Phillip Island, Australia. There have been other, more verifiable instances of anglers catching great white sharks larger than the one Alf Dean reeled in. But for one reason or another, they are not officially recognized. Take, for example, a group of three Australian fishermen who used an endangered baby seal as bait to capture a 3,344-pound great white in 1990. The shark would have qualified as a record breaker if not for the angler's unlawful use of the protected three-week-old sea lion pup which earned them $21,000 in legal fines. In 1986, a fisherman named Captain Frank Mundus caught a 3,427-pound great white shark off Montauk, Long Island. Unfortunately, the IGFA denied Mundus the world record based on a technicality. Number 1. Behemoth Bony Fish A 2017 study identified the heaviest bony fish ever caught as a 5,070-pound, 8.9-foot-long ocean sunfish that was captured off the Japanese coast and goes by the scientific name Mola Alexandrini. The findings, which were published in the journal Ichthyological Research, revealed that the specimen, which was captured in 1996, was initially misidentified as another sunfish species called the Mola Mola. Informally known as the bump-headed sunfish, M. Alexandrini is one of many species that make up the Mola genus of sunfishes. Their skeletons are made of bone, unlike cartilaginous marine species such as rays and sharks, and they have a distinctively odd appearance, characterized by large, round bodies, measuring as much as 10 feet long. Scientists have only started to better understand the Mola genus in recent years due to the complications associated with studying such large specimens. Their research helped them realize that M. Alexandrini is the title holder for the world's heaviest bony fish, and they believe that it's possible for members of this species to grow even larger than the record setter that was captured 24 years ago. In fact, in 2004, researchers caught a 10.9-foot-long bump-headed sunfish, but they failed to weigh it leaving the world to wonder whether it would have beat the previous record holder. Thanks for watching! Which catch was your favorite? What animal would you like to learn more about? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!